Don't move a muscle. Hi. Hey. All right, sit up and eat. I don't care if you're hungry or not. Oh, I am so hungry. Okay, good. It means you're feeling better. Wow, where'd you get all this? I was out there uh, performing manly duties. Performing your manly duties? What would those be? Hunting. Oh. And uh, how many mangoes did you have to kill to get all this? Uh, hmm? Maya put this tray together for you. Well, I can think of some other manly duties that you can perform for me. Is that right? Because you're feeling better. <laughs> because of you. I love you. What is it? <sighs> Eve, what? What just came in your head? Your wife. Hey, hey! Joe gave me this on the way in. Telegram for you. Ooh, maybe it's for Ian. What's wrong? Uh, no, uh, he, he's just going to be longer than expected, that's all. You're disappointed. He's a doctor. You know, he has a commitment to help others. I understand that. So where's Joe? He's on his way back to the hospital. Major MBA came in. MBA? Oh, multi-vehicle accident. I told him I would wait up for him, but when he gets home, he's going to be so fried, he'll just want to crash. I'm sorry, I'll remember to provide subtitles next time. No, 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 no. You know, I want to learn more American slang. Teach me, will you? Teach me how to be more like an American woman. You will never be able to conceive. The test confirmed. Watching that little boy right there, the one on the end, or on the left, he he keeps opening up one eye, you know, looking around, and he falls right back to sleep. He's trying to get the lay of the land. Yeah, I think so. You know, they do that. Serena used to do that boy when she was born. She would have those big eyes. What are you doing here? I was on my way to see Alan. Alan's office isn't on this floor. I got sidetracked. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yes, they are. I didn't know you'd be here. Well, how could you? It's the last place. I should be, huh? Are you all right, Lucy? I told you I'm fine. In fact, I guess I'm sort of relieved. Relieved? Well, you know, all my life all I've ever wanted was to have a baby of my own. In fact, I've been sort of consumed by it. Even when I was working on anything else, doing anything else, it was always there in the back of my head, having that baby. And now that it's never going to happen, that it's impossible, it won't ever, ever happen, and I can stop worrying about it. I can just put it out of my mind. Can you? I don't have any choice, do I? <laughs> but it's good, you know, it, it's okay, because now I know I, I, I can move forward. I can go on with my life, you know, do other things. By coming to the nursery and looking at babies? Oh, please, Doc, do not try to analyze me. I I'm not doing that. But no, 
Karen, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? Uh, I thought I told you to please leave me alone. I know, I know. But, but... then what? what? But, but what? Why are you, you doing this? What do you want from me? I want to help you deal with the news you got today. I am. I'm dealing with it. I don't think you are. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to fall apart right in front of your eyes? Do you want me to crumble up on the floor? Do you wish it was me jumping off that roof today? No. Then what? What does one do? How does one deal with news like this when they get it? You tell me. I see patients every day, Lucy, day in and day out. I can be objective about their problems, and somehow I know just how to help them. But with you, I can't do that as much as I want to. I want to be able to take you in my arms and hold you and make everything okay. But you can't. You can't. Nobody can. You know, I... I... I look at him and all I see is the baby that I wanted. And I wanted that baby to be ours. You and me. It's not gonna happen, not now. No. Not ever. Not ever. <laughs> American is a lot of different things. I mean, people here are from everywhere, and they speak all different kinds of languages. Okay, well, okay. it's not the same like in my country. See, women here say whatever they want. They dress how they want. They do what they want. And what do you want? To change. But how exactly? Well, my look, how I act, the way I say things. But that's not really changing you, though. Well, I also thought of taking some university classes. You know, maybe even get a career. Yeah? Like, what kind of career? Uh, I always enjoyed science. Like medicine? That could be interesting. Are you trying to make yourself into an American woman? Or into the kind of woman you think Ian wants? Can I peel this for you? I want you to answer a question for me. But, Ariana... Your wife. In name only. I know. I know, you married her to protect her from her brother. But if you did that, then why are you here with me and not there with her? Ben's gone. What? What happened? He thinks he killed Joe. Joe's dead? No, Joe isn't dead. The Scanlon boys and I, we came up with a plan made it look like he was dead. And that sent uh, Ben back to his own country. That's great. That means you're free. That means we can finally be together, right? No, not yet. Why not? If immigration finds out that this marriage isn't real, they're gonna deport Ariana back to her own country where her brother is waiting. So you have to stay married. For how long? I don't know. Well, don't you have a plan or anything? I did what I did to make sure that Ariana was safe. Didn't really... Didn't really think past that. I didn't think we'd have a future together. I know. I just wish things were different. So do I. I wish we could stay on this island forever and live together. Our hearts will always be here. Yeah, that sounds really romantic. But, you know, I would just settle for getting on a plane, flying back to Port Charles and acting like any other couple in love. Making out and holding hands all the time. Well, I want that too, but I... Not now. Yeah. You said you understood. I do understand. But Ian, we are so close to being together. And every time we get so close, something happens that rips us apart. How long is it gonna be like that?
feel like such a burden to him. Well, he's not complaining. Maybe not. But when it's time for me to make a life for myself here, I'd like to know that I can. I think you're underestimating yourself. You don't understand what I come from. Women are not allowed to even think about having a life of their own. Not like women here. I need to learn what that feels like. And I need someone to teach me. Will you? <sighs> we sure can have fun trying. <laughs> Let's see what else you got. We will be together, believe me. When? Do you not... Do you know how much I wish it were right now? Probably as much as I do. I feel so stupid. <laughs> why? I know why you married Ariana, but when I saw you guys kissing in the recovery oh, come room... Come on, that was for sure for know, the INS. I know, but she's so cute and perky. Hey, I'm in love with you. See, I told you it was stupid. It was. It was stupid. Hey, you have to agree with me so quickly? Who was it said for someone so smart you could be incredibly stupid? That's because you just drank poison. And I do it again. Don't. I do anything for you, Lumber. And I will, as soon as I get back. What's your plan, Thornhart? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm, uh, I'm trying to find a way out of this Ariana mess. How? Leave it to me. Last time I left it to you, you got yourself into trouble. I'm not dragging you into this. I'm already in it. I'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. We're gonna be together. Starting right now. I am very sorry. I, uh, I promised that I, I wouldn't do this. Lucy, it's all right. You have every right to. I just, I, I can't help thinking that this has to have happened to me for a reason. There has to be a reason. There's a reason, right? I don't know. We may never know. I just wanted that baby for as long as I can remember. As long as I've known you. That fantasy of mine, you know, Prince Charming, marrying me and sweeping me off to a castle and having lots and lots of children. I always wanted that big, huge family. I just, I feel like I'm not going to be complete if I, if I don't have a child. I've always felt that way. It's kind of ridiculous, no, huh? No, no, not at all. A lot of people feel that way. Yeah, they do, but they, they just don't quite go to the extremes that I've gone to. Some do. But I guess it's just never going to ever happen like a, like a little girl, you know? I think I've been like that my whole life where I believe my dreams will come true. You know how when you're little, everything's possible your whole life could be filled with cotton candy and balloons all the time. And filled with everything you love. But then I guess you, you wake up one day, or I guess you grow up, huh? And you realize that is not going to happen. Your dreams are not going to come true, and you're not going to have everything you want, and there are some things you will just never, ever have, no matter how much you want them. You lost one dream. That doesn't mean you have to give up on them all. <laughs> no, you're right. Just the ones I know I can't have. Like a baby. And you. Lucy, I don't think we should shut the door on anything right now. This is probably the most rational decision I've ever made. You know, when I was pre When I thought I was pregnant with your baby, I, I took it to be a sign that we were meant to be together. But just because you're not doesn't mean it's a sign of anything either. That's right. Don't you see how irrational that is? I'm believing in signs and destiny, the stars, the universe. But that's part of who you are. And that's the part of me that you didn't always like. You kept saying, get real, Lucy. So I am getting very real. But there's still so much unfinished business between us. I'm finishing it. Just like that. After everything we've been through. The bond we have. This, this, this bond. 
it is there, most definitely. But don't you feel like sometimes it strangles you? I know for me, sometimes it does feel like that. It's hard at times. Yes, it's never been really easy for us. Don't you think maybe that is some way that's trying to tell us something? That we should let go. That's the kindest thing we could do for each other. Well, if that's the way you feel, Lucy. It's for the best. You know, that's all I ever wanted for you. I'll miss you. I'll miss you, too, Tom. Very much. Goodbye, Tom. Be good to yourself. Well, you look a little like Eve Lambert. I do. In fact, I think she has a blouse just like that. I mean, it looks terrific on you. It does. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. For doing this and for everything. But I'm not done with you yet. In order for you to be a true American, there's one more thing you must know about. <laughs> Junk food. <laughs> I will be right back, okay? Don't move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You read my mind. Were well, you thinking about me? I was. How was your swim? It was good. I cleared my head. What do you mean? Nice. Ariana, trying to find a way out of this arrangement and still keep her safe. Do we have to talk about this tonight? No, we don't. It's a beautiful night. We should go for a walk on the beach. Come on. Oh, actually, I had something else in mind. Oh, um, yeah, I know. You're not feeling well. You should rest. No, that's not it either. I've been doing some thinking. About what? About our first kiss. Mm-hmm. You mean when you ran away? Yeah. It's because I didn't know how it was going to make me feel. I felt that kiss all the way down to my toes. You mean like this? And at Harris's compound, when we were locked up together, I thought about that kiss all the time. Whenever you looked at me, whenever you touched me, I'd lay awake at night fantasizing about it. And when you finally told me that you loved me, it was everything I ever thought it would be. You said you'd do anything for me. Port Charles. On the next Port Charles. I don't exactly know when 
This started happening between us, but I'm real glad it did. I love you, Lucy Co. I want to know your whole body. The residents of Pine Valley always seem to be getting into trouble. Find out what they've stumbled into this time with All My Children, coming up next on SoapNet, soap watching made easy. You never know who to trust on All My Children, coming up next, followed by One Life to Live and General Hospital, SoapNet, devoted to soaps and you.